Hi, today I want to show you one of the Cosmos electronic radios. It's from the X2000 kit from Cosmos. Well, in America probably these kits aren't too well known, but inside Europe or around Europe I have seen them. For example, in the Netherlands, someone has built a radio. I think it was from the Netherlands with the Cosmos kits. However, what I want to show you is um, this is the highest sensitivity radio that you can build on the Cosmos uh, kit in the X2000. It's the reflect receiver. This transistor amplifies the signal from the antenna coil and also it gets the demodulated audio feedback into its base so it acts as a RF and a NAF amplifier. So this increases the gain of the receiver and this is the most sensitive receiver that you can build. They want you to connect a earth or ground connection. They want you to connect a ground connection and of course a very long antenna. The antenna must be six meters long it's around 18 feet, which is not very handy. Anyway, I've built this receiver and let's crank up the volume to the maximum so we can hear even silent stations. And it's um, around 10.30 uh, before midday, before lunch. So um, let's turn it on and see if we can receive something. There is an option that you can plug in various connections so you can activate uh, some of these capacitors that you see here to the coil and that will give you a different frequency range. Okay, I'll turn it on. And you can hear static. And now let's see if it picks up something. Therefore I'll turn the slug of this coil. Well, it's not picking up anything. Let's connect one of the capacitors to the coil that will change the frequency range this receiver can pick up. So now I've changed it. And now let's have a different band scan and see if it picks up something now. Nothing. Okay, there is one last change that we can make. We can switch on another capacitor that's described in the manual. So you have to add these bridges that will give you different frequency ranges in the medium wave band. And now let's see if we can pick up something now. Nothing. So I can't receive any stations. Well, one reason why I can't receive any stations is the time, because it's kind of sunny, a little bit sunny out there, and usually AM goes well at night. And the other th thing is that in Germany every official station has been turned off uh, by the switch to from 2015 to 2016, if I remember correct. Or was it even earlier? I can't remember it exactly anyway, so last stations got turned off and there are no more official AM stations in Germany. There are some private stations operating at very low power and if you live close to them you may pick them up, but from official side currently there are no more stations. So what can we do? I mean I want to make this experiment and this is the highest sensitive receiver that you actually can build in these Cosmos radio kits from the X2000 series. There is no better receiver in there. And well what can you do? I mean I didn't receive a station. Aha! I was clever and I thought I'd make a solution for that. I made this small circuit board here that adds into the Cosmos kits as, for example, the amplifier board or the antenna board does. So, it's a kit, or better, a module with a 6 feet long or 2 meter long wire antenna and a connection for a, for a power supply and you require a crystal for it. On the other side, it has these two connectors. You can see them. They just fit in into the board. And I'll show you how to connect it. I'll just connect earth and antenna connection. I'll take out that wire bridge because I won't need it anymore and this one also. So I can tell you this coil has two coils. So it doesn't matter if these two are connected together because there's one coil transmitting into another coil. So it doesn't matter if these two are connected. So now I'm plugging in my homemade board. As you can see here, it fits in very well. So there we go. But it doesn't have connection to the antenna yet. That's no problem. Just take one clip I just took out and connect it to the antenna. So there we go. And after some further hookup things, which I'll do off camera, we can see how it works. So these two connectors go to the board. They are supplying the board here with current or power supply. And this is the antenna. Okay, in the next clip you will see how it works.
So now I have connected the circuit board to this receiver. Here you can see the minus connection. Here you can see the plus connection. So it's powered by the battery that powers the receiver from Cosmos as well. The antenna wire, which is very short, has been mounted so it's polarized vertical. So it does pick up stations. The crystal uh, is 5.2 MHz. I've put it in my DIY crystal socket, so I can just take it out and put in another crystal. That will change the frequency range this receiver is going to pick up. There is no more earth connection or ground connection, so here you can see that this is the ground wire. It's not connected anywhere. It's just laying there. And you can see here also there's no ground connection, so I don't even need a ground connection on this receiver board. And now let's turn it on with the 5.2 MHz crystal. I should be able to pick up the 49 meter broadcast band in a shortwave range, which is 5.9 up to 6.2 MHz. I turn on the receiver, and despite of some dodgy contacts, so now it's work, now it works, you can already hear that the static sound changed. And listen. Tick, 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 there's somewhere an electric fence close to me, in the range of a few hundred meters. You can hear it by this ticking noises, that's an electric fence. Anyway, let's see if we can now pick up a station. Oh, that's very loud. Let's see if we can pick up another station. Oh, that's loud. That's very loud. I have to turn the volume all the way down. That's very loud. No idea what station that is. Let's increase the volume again. So as you can hear, it picks up stations quite well now. So that's pretty much about it. I could change the, uh, I could change these clips and eventually pick up different stations. But I want to do something else. I want to change the crystal. Because now I'm receiving the 49 meter band and I don't want to receive the 49 meter band anymore. So I just take out the crystal and put in another one. This is a 14.31818 megahertz crystal. That will give me some higher frequency reception. So as you can see, the crystal has been plugged in. Uh, those crystals are very well available on various shops. And now I'll turn it on. And we should get different stations. Oh, listen to that. Not good. There is something oscillating. And I can tell you why it does that. Because this receiver here has very much gain. So it's very sensitive. And if I go up with the frequency, for some reason, it seems not to be loaded by the incoming signal from the antenna too much. And so it starts oscillation. And this is what you can hear. You could eventually listen to amateur radio broadcasts now, to single sideband conver uh, conversions or telegraphy or CW signals. But you don't want that. and you want to listen to normal radio stations. So there are two solutions for listening to normal radio stations. The first one would be do not build this uh, experiment with the reflex receiver, to build the previous one with the detector receiver. Because in the detector receiver there is no active RF amplification, and on the detector receiver you will be able to pick up the station without this sound. The second solution is, um, you go ahead, oh, let's connect it there and connect Earth again, so it doesn't matter if you connect it here or there, it just needs to connect it somewhere, it just needs to be connected somewhere to ground. So now I've connected Earth again, the other side of this wire goes type that is grounded. And now let's try it again, I'll turn it on. And we can hear the station, let's tune it in. Let's decrease the volume. So obviously it's working. I don't want to play too much of that because I'm not sure if this is copyright or not. But anyway, as you can hear, it's working. And 
With different crystals you can pick up different ranges from the shortwave band. I haven't tested it yet, but I could imagine with a 27 MHz crystal or something in that range, let's say 27.5 or so, I would have to calculate it out. You could probably even pick up CB radio band, for example. And this makes your Cosmos radio receiver to a shortwave receiver. And even it changes the name because now it's a superhead receiver because this now works and as the basics of a superhead receiver. This circuit here is very easy to build as you will see in the upcoming video. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. So this is my expansion to the Cosmos radio kit or better to the Cosmos radio circuits. I've tested it also with the X 1000 and there it works as well too, so no problems whatsoever. Okay.